a great day so far and I'm really excited to bring you guys this video because we're gonna do some DIY room decor that is summer themed. I think all of these DIYs turned out so so cute. I've basically just been stalking Pinterest lately and I saw these ones and I really wanted to recreate them so I hope you guys are excited too. And one of the best parts about this DIY video is basically everything you can find at your local dollar store or it's free so yay for that. <laughs> And if this is the first time you're seeing my face here on YouTube, definitely hit that subscribe button if you like what you see so you don't miss a future video of mine because I have a lot of really fun ones planned and you're not going to want to miss them. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it at any point because that helps people find my videos and my channel and that would be super awesome. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the DIYs. The first step in this DIY is to cut your cork board into circles and of course if you want to do non-circular fruit you can go ahead and cut them into any shape you like. And then after that all you really need to do is paint it. So the first one I'm showing you guys here is the watermelon so I started off with green around the edge and then I went in with a white and then I'm finishing it off with a red and it's super satisfying painting cork so I highly recommend you guys try this one out. I also did a lemon off camera and then the third fruit I'm doing is a kiwi just because I add all the right colors and you basically only need to do green around the outside and then finish it off with a white circle. And then once those have dried completely I went ahead and did the seeds so on the watermelon I'm just doing regular black seeds with a tiny paintbrush and then on the kiwi basically the same thing around the white. And if you aren't already following me on Instagram, my username is just Miss Michaela G, just like my channel, and you guys should definitely follow me, and I would absolutely love it if you sent me recreations if you try out any of these DIYs for yourself. Once the paint has completely dried, feel free to hang them up on your wall. These can also double as coasters if you make smaller versions. I just think they're super cute and really versatile. I personally like to hang my Polaroid pictures on them just because they are actual corkboard and you could do that, and it's also just a really cute way to display your summer pictures. This next DIY is definitely my favorite out of this entire video and it's probably the least expensive. All you're gonna need for this is a bunch of paint swatches in a variety of colors as well as some popsicle sticks and some string. Using a fairly thick piece of paper I made a popsicle stencil and then I just went ahead and traced that onto the back of the paint swatches and then just cut it out. And I found it super helpful to remember where I placed the stencil so all the popsicles come out looking somewhat the same. Now that you have all those cut out, you can go ahead and place the popsicle sticks on the back of the paint swatches. I just used regular white glue, but feel free to use hot glue or tape even works probably just as good. And you want to make sure that you're placing the stick in somewhat of the same place as all the others, again, so they all look fairly similar. Once those were completely dry, I just went ahead and took some string and some tape and made my garland. And that's pretty much all you need to know to make this super cute popsicle garland. I think this is such a cute DIY for the summertime. It's really bright and colorful. This would be amazing for an outdoor party or just any type of party. And it also works as a really good backdrop for pictures. And it's safe to say this was Noodle's favorite DIY as well. He couldn't resist the popsicles. And the final DIY is crazy easy, so I don't even think I really need to explain too much, but I got all of the ingredients, not ingredients, all the pieces to this DIY decor piece at the dollar store. So you're gonna need a glass jar as well as some white rocks and then some fake succulents. And you pretty much put the rocks in the jar and then put the fake succulents in and you're good to go. I love this because I've killed pretty much every plant that I've owned and so these can't die on me and they look really, really cute. I personally love adding a little bit of greenery to the bedroom, so I put this one onto my nightstand beside my ceramic pineapple that I absolutely adore. I think it just adds a little bit of a nice green touch to the room as well as looks a little bit Tumblr-esque, if you will. And that pretty much wraps up all the DIYs for this video. Let me know in the comments down below which DIY you'd like the best or which one you're going to end up recreating because I would absolutely love to know. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a future video. And I will see you lovely people in my next one. Have a great day. Bye.